going old school. It's an emergency beano day, hashtag EB. I'm off to Cardiff, where there's supposed to be a festival. Um, maybe zero degrees, definitely the urban tap house. Um, it's Monday, it's the 21st of October 2013, so 6.15 hours laughingly, yet again, British summertime. And because I'm going old school, I'm using my L player, which I haven't used for donkey's years. And beer, British beer, tastes better when it's dark and it's wet. And it's the middle of the night. Capilli Station. And so then, got someone set by the pots. It's not at the poly farm at the middle station. Great. And they never do. But this bit is finished. They play or anyone? And this is Cardiff Central. It's raining. There's not as much as Caffili. Okay. Let's go find some coffee. Okay. I'm stop saying okay. Subway. Doesn't open properly till nine o'clock, but I need some Wi Fi. The so central bar, central bar, maybe central bar and central Cardiff. So we'll stop the day. Coffee. So off we go. Um, the pint glass there, that was cranberry juice. They do thirds for festival ales. So the first one is World's Biggest Liar with a guy with a big hooter means something else in the UK, that's by Jennings at 4.3% alcohol by volume. Mm. Oh yeah, there's the echo. Malty. And a sort of burnt, roasty taste. Quite nice actually. 4.3% alcohol by volume. B+. Plus. Number two, What the Fuggles. Obviously, because of the Fuggles hops in there, what worth 5% alcohol by volume. Oh, back in Malky. Now, this is hopped, but it's not particularly bitterly hopped. It's quite nice, but I'm not sure. I still give it a B. Plus, so. And over to the USA. This is Supremely Self-Conscious Black Ale, originally from Stone Brewing, brewed in the UK by Adnams, 5% alcohol by volume. Interesting, this tastes like a sort of thin porter, but it's citrusy hops, which has got quite a nice tart finish. Another B+, plus. not bad at all. Could be doing all the weather spoons with thirds. I think this is a plan. I've moved on. This is a Lloyd's number one bar, which is also weather spoons. The difference being you get music and a slightly less good selection of beers in a Lloyd's number one. Unless you're in Ponty, which is just a hybrid. Anyway, uh, number three. This is Tree Hugger by Terrapin at 5% alcohol by volume. Brewed in the UK by Shepherd Mean. Dark. Brown. Slightly tawny, maybe. Nice head. Still pouring with rain. Creamy. Nicely bitter. I go to B plus. All B pluses. Lambda will be pleased. The reg plate says D. Well that's labor for party. Party. Here it goes. 
Gaming standard. Anyway, number one, Urban IPA by Tony Rebel. 5.5, 5 5.6% alcohol by volume. Hmm. It's a uh, IPA. Oh, hot. just a bit of for me, yeah? I'm videoing my beer. Hey. Don't interfere with my videoing. Our colleagues have arrived. <laughs> I'm not a colleague. <laughs> Smile. That's lovely. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm very well, thank you. Finishing. Look at this. Okay, now if I went to Mother Lambic, Mother Lambic, I get told off. This is Roddenbrock Grand Cru at 6%. And it's Flemish. And it's probably not as good as it used to be, but... It's sour. It has the bite. It's wonderful. A minus. And I think there might be some bio beers coming next. Cantillon Lambic Bio. Goes for bio read organic, 5% alcohol by volume, <laughs> and as a lambic, um, no two are exactly the same. It says in the bottle, drink within 20 years of production. This is February 2013, and I had some of this last Christmas. And it has an attack, a really good attack. I'm going to give that an A minus. And before long, I'll be in the brewery itself. Hats off. Right to coaches only, please. First stations to have a day. Or a good 